Praise the Lord Jesus. I have identified verses 7 and 8 as a key verses. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Generous giving glorifies God. Amen. Did not just let us feel a sense of worth, but it actually gives glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. While Paul was at Macedonia, he wrote another letter to the Corinthians. This particular chapter, which we just read a portion of, deals with the collection of offering for the poor Christians at Jerusalem. So that would have been a special offering for a special need. That's the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. I know once I shared with the adult Sunday school class that the saints at Jerusalem had become poor. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Remember the story that all things come common? Yes. And if we would have sold their things and it's true, I am sure <laughs> knowing the nature of mankind that many people just jumped on the bandwagon to get what they could. And so Christ didn't come as they expected yeah. in, in such a short time because that's what they expected. It. They thought Jesus would have returned. So they would be in need of material things. Yeah. Oh my God, help us. But they were generous brothers and sisters elsewhere who decided that they are going to help out others. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Lord. Paul shared in his letter on how other church groups in Macedonia had given beyond expectation. Amen. They surprised Paul in their giving. Amen. Hallelujah. He singled out Philippi, Thessalonica, and Miriam. They had given despite their poverty. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm very impressed. They were poor. They gave more than that which was expected. Yes. It still happens today. Wow. I remember our presbyter shared uh, a story in our joining parish about this man who seemed to have had nothing, yes. but he saved what he could yes. and gave the church a generous offering in its living program. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Take note here of Paul's expression in verse 2. You can read, if you will, chapter 8, verse 2. How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. Yes. I am touched by the expression deep poverty. Yes. Not just poverty. Yes. It went beyond being poor. They were willing. There's nothing to suggest that they were pressured or urged to do what they 
Praise the Lord. There's something called bowels of compassion. Praise the Lord Jesus. And no one who is in touch with God can close the bowels of compassion. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. There are times when we ignore what is in your opinion or my opinion. The little unimportant things. Yes. It does routine. You know. We do it every Sunday or so. So it's just routine. Mm -hmm. And so it's not even important. My Lord. Hallelujah. Have mercy. My God. My God help us. But actually, the things which are big things are big things. Yes. Now we have just collection offering. We are giving to the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we took care that in mind. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God. My giving, I don't stand this in myself now. Yes. Is a measure of my sincerity. Praise the Lord. And a gauge of my spirituality. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It actually can show how hot. Or how cold. Praise God. Bless the Lord Jesus. Amen. You don't have to be rich to give. The Macedonians gave out of their deep poverty. And they urged Paul, Paul, Paul was somehow reluctant, you know, knowing their circumstances. But they urged him, accept what we are giving. We want to be a part of this. Some people love to be excluded, but they wanted to be included. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Paul went on to say to the Corinthians, a year ago, you pledged. You gave your word that you would be a partaker in this venture. You continue. No respect to perform. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Lord, pledging is just words, eh? Yes. But it can't stand by itself. That's right. It's not performance time. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, God. So when God, as there was a readiness to will, to say, I need $10,000. I need $500. Readiness to will. Now there must be a performance. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Do what you say you'll be able to do. It was a year. Amen. <coughs> so he said, for a very first a willing mind. Lord, there's a lot of that scripture. Amen. Get it in your mind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is according to what a man has. Praise God. And not according to what a man has not. That's right. God is not expecting you to do what you can't do. And I've said it before. But don't you have it be able to afford and just ignore as Christians. That's not scripture. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul linked the Corinthians giving to their love and sincerity. Verse 34. Wherefore now show the proof of your love. Oh my God. And of our boasting on your behalf. Huh. So Paul was pleased with the Corinthian church. Huh. They know that they their growth and their understanding and they were settling down and so on. Amen. And that Paul would say, I'm sure that will take part. You know? So so he would actually say, Come on now, you can't let me down. Yes. I'm depending on you. Praise God. Amen. Show that you are in this thing. Show that you are a part of it. Amen. Hallelujah. No, it's not by your testimony this time. It's not by a tongue this time or a psalm or interpretation of tongue this time. It is 
this value of Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are measured by many things. And sometimes we are not even aware that we are being measured. Yes. That we are being assessed. Amen. Bless the Lord Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. We need to remember that we don't own anything here. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't talk about my. My this and my that and my the other. We don't own anything here. God blesses us. Mm? And it gives us resources. To be used in his kingdom, yes. to invest in his kingdom for his honor Amen. and his glory. God is pleased by doing it cheerfully. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. We always must bear in mind that we are not in competition. Praise God. Praise I'm not going to look and say how much you are giving. And because it's many times what I can give, I'm not going to bother to give. Oh. Hallelujah. Give what you can. Amen. Remember what Jesus said about that little woman in the story? Yeah, when Jesus sat in the treasury, mm -hmm. he himself observed yes. how people were giving. Yes. Do you believe really Jesus is still observing yes. how we give? Yeah. Amen. Yes. And he said, this woman who gave her two nights, gave her than everybody else because she gave her all. Amen. That's all she had. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, we're not in competition. That's right. Give your small amount because that's what the Lord is best to you. And don't be embarrassed. Some people want to march up to the offering, you know. You know that. Because it was too small, you shall go to see me. That we saw I'm not a body. Oh, no. Go ahead, first Jesus. I'll be away, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't be embarrassed. Amen. The attitude we display is much more important than the amount. You are able to do it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. My thoughts to you the book of Malachi. Malachi 3 and verse 8. And the second I think was when Israel was recently after the Babylonish captivity. There is no resettling. So they were focusing on many things. Yes. But the Spirit of the Lord anointed Malachi, the yes. prophet, to ask, You oh. the man of God? Holy Jesus. question. Then a statement, Yet he have robbed me. The response question was, we are in. Have we robbed thee? Then we cry in tithes offering. and offering. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes. 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 Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I thought about that. Mm -hmm. oh, Very often we are by robbing God to tithes only. That's offering. true. That's true. Yeah. But the scripture says, tithes right. and offering. That's right. Hallelujah. Two separate things. Amen. So for those who do not know the difference, here is it. Right. A tithe is a tenth of what God has blessed you with. Hallelujah. Bless God. A tenth. Amen. One of these, one of these, and one. Hallelujah. Specific amount. Praise the Lord Jesus. The name of Jesus. Now, Amber a lot said about tithing and why some 
church is not in the hit, and why some individuals are not in the hit. Have you heard the argument? Amen. What is the name of it? It started with the law. Tithes was under the law. Under the law. Mm -hmm. My God. Have it here. And no one here reasoning that tithes came from the law. And the law is abolished. abolished. Oh. So tithes abolished with the law. Is that true? No. No. Tithes was before, before the law. Tithes older than the law. Amen. But the law embraced it. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank it God. came embedded in it. Yes. In Genesis 14, 8 to 20. When the Chisedek appeared unto Abraham, Abraham gave him tithes of all, not partial, of all. That will tell you how much, but it was something all that spoiled, all that was collected from the enemy. And this man from Salem, priest of the Most High God, was described as. Abraham gave him ten. Yeah. Amen. And you know, by studies, that Melchizedek was not a real man. Amen. He's one of the theophanies yeah. of God. God. God manifested himself. Yes. Huh? Yes. Because he was God's mother, God father, God descent. Amen. Amen. Yes, That's God. what Melchizedek has been described. Amen. So we can conclude that Abraham actually gave back to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Not a reference from Genesis. We know Jacob was more as a fugitive. Amen. You know, I didn't think about Jacob. And then I thought back. In when we paid an area, there was no known path to Jacob to reach there. So imagine he was wandering around for a while. I remember the scripture the other day, and I looked up and I found it that he was found in the wild, howling desert. Mm. And it just came to me, and, and I checked on it and said, Yes, it is there. I think that was God describing the situation. Amen. So, in that state, hallelujah, a Jacob rested. Now we know it was that comfortable rest. He, in his prayer, asked God for preservation. He, yes. the Lord, and he also asked him for blessing. Praise God. And he vowed to God that he would give him a tenth. Amen. God, whatever you give me, <laughs> I'm going to give you back a tenth. My God. Hallelujah. Yes. And he confessed that he was going back to God. Mm -hmm. So let pass here, let's pass through God. Mm -hmm. But look here, <laughs> I'm not two bands. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God had really blessed him. Amen. Praise the name of the Praise Lord. Lord. So he vowed to God, Genesis 28, 18 to 22. He said, I will surely, this is no guessing business. Hallelujah. I'm going to see it. I will surely give the tenth unto thee. Amen. Praise the name of the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, many of us you know. We pray some prayers to God and say, God, you just change my situation. Mm -hmm. You just provide for me a job, Lord Jesus. You see, I'm suffering. God, I'm going to pay my tithes. Yes. Have you honored your word? My Lord. God is expecting you to keep your word. That's right. Hallelujah. So, the law enjoys the provision. And the church uses it as a scriptural way to find mass. The earth, the kingdom. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's not a commandment to us. Amen. Amen. But when we look at it, we see this good thing. Amen. We adopt it. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The 
law enjoy the provision, as I said, and the church enjoys it also. So we should not differ with God or so. It is something we should embrace. May God help us. I'll be waiting to you. Hallelujah. May God help us. I'll be waiting, Lord. You can have a personal talk if you need to know work of this. Amen. Amen. Now there's no limit as to the amount to give as an offering. Is it right. a limit? No. There's no limit. So your offering can surpass your tithes. Right. You know that? Amen. And I have been noticing, you know, <laughs> that when some people pay tithes, they don't want to give any offering. It's different. Tithes and offering, not as if you don't have any. Amen. I love to see where we honor God with both. And you should look forward to it. He's not happy that something. If you have it, it. Look forward to it. Lay it aside. God didn't say that to you, know. Amen. And about the first that we have the gathering. Yes, there was order, there was a policy. You got the need for the first day of the week. So take your tithes with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Take your offering with you. Amen. Whatever offering it is. Bear in mind, saints and friends, who may be listening in, that the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness, and the fullness thereof. Praise God. And we brought nothing here. Mm. People say that in the funeral service. <laughs> <laughs> brought nothing in this world, and it's certain we can take nothing, nothing out. Praise the Lord. Help me, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. As you stand before the mirror of God's word, ask yourself the question. Have I remarked that? Oh. I mean, seriously. So as a roll back the curtain of them every now and then. Yes. Search yourself. Some people have. If I were you, I would say to it. Amen. Bless God. Amen. How can I make restitution? Be honest. In your response, yes. forget the excuses. Amen. Just like if you're in your if you're paying it anywhere, mm -hmm. you're going to make arrangements how you're going to pay. Yes, yes sometimes you ask for time. Yes. Amen. You can't just rock God. But probably you don't bother to talk, you know. <laughs> and the Lord said, I'm ready to talk. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. No. I, don't, I don't know. Holy God. I'm not in God's state, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But if you have not honored God with your times, it's a good thing to do so. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In this in this course, I have a part two. Amen. Yes, I have a question. Bless the name of Jesus. Ask the question. What keeps me from being obedient? Mm. Amen. What is it? Why I can't be obedient? See, not giving. In giving, never you think that you are making the person who you give to better than yourselves. Holy God. If I give you this, you may end up better than I am. Never you think about it that way. Amen. You know, if I give you a dress or, or a pants, 
And when you press the neck, somebody might admire you more. Mm. Huh? And then, to tear down that, you will be a boss of the person. And we give him, you know. Or I gave her. That should not be the spirit. Yeah. Or if you give cash, you know, the Lord knows it can do something and surpass you. We are not in competition. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Matthew 10 and verse 22 shows that you will be rewarded. Leave reward to God. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes. Sometimes not the same person, you know. God just raise up some people to bless you. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes some unusual ways. Amen. You know, I, I've heard some testimonies that blow, blow a mind. You know, somebody needed a car and just happened to be at an other same place. Yeah. And somebody will say, I buy you the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, I buy you the car. I know that testimony. Yes, God. Amen. Hallelujah. But well, this first car was almost given to him for free. Mm. One of the meanest persons he could ever think of. The book would be done. Amen. He said, man, take it and give me what you want to give me. <laughs> Hallelujah. God. Not a Christian. A non-Christian. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. God be careful. Matthew 25 and verse 40. We're going to read that scripture. Turn your Bibles there, please. It's the Bible study. That's right. And you have got to read for me and you know, marry me not to do these days. Say Matthew 25, verse 40. Yes. And the Lord shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, in as much as he have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, he have done it unto me. That's right. How much has I done to you, 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 you? What about you, this? You're going to me. Have you ever thought about that? Oh. The kindness, the goodness, that, that, you know, you meet out to people. You are doing it to Jesus. I'm not saying, you know, amen. You're going to come to me. So what about the flip side? When, when we don't? Uh -huh. huh? Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yes. So, that is giving us a hint, brethren, mm -hmm. and understanding, sisters and brothers, that men, represent God here on earth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And it is God's will mm -hmm. that those who are employed in this kingdom yes. should be taken care of. Amen. It's an honor. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. Jesus said in Luke 10 and verse 7, the laborer is worthy of his hire. That's right. Amen. Worthy of it, you're not begging around with something that is due. Yes. Glory to God Almighty. So then, what is the test of my spirituality? My God. Huh? What is the test? Glory to you. You know, I get all sorts of things. You know, on the phone that I have. And I was drawn to listen to a young man. You know, he dressed trendy. He chained and, and, you know, kind of clear cut and all of that. 
very trendy when he was preaching. I received it. I didn't know whether to call it an address or a message. That is young man. But he was busy bashing speaking in tongues. Hmm. Yes. When he was saying was about that. He said he noticed that these same persons who are speaking in tongues lack spiritual virtues, mm. such as listening in Galatians 5, 22, 23, you have to know them. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, Goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. They were speaking away in tongues. But these virtues, if you call them that anyway, you know, are not manifested. On the other hand, he said he found persons who never spoke in tongues. Manifesting the qualities we just mentioned. Mm. In my heart, I said, You are right. Who does it say that? You are right. I'm always puzzled about some persons that have actually worked for in the world a place where. There were a few Pentecostals, and let's, let's number of one state. And there's this particular young lady. She'd go into the restroom, and you'd hear her speaking in tongues. And when she came back out, she would say, Holy Ghost told me to box down. So and so and so. You know that was a bit crazy. Oh God. But somebody wants to learn at a college to sanctify my hand and box somebody. Oh. <laughs> you know? You, you might laugh. But some strange things do happen. Yes. Amen. And I said in my heart, you are right. But Speaking in tongues remains a heavenly gift, right. which is the initial evidence of receiving the Holy Ghost. Amen. No matter the passion is getting, it is scriptural and it is so. That's right. But we should be concerned that some of our numbers are causing people to misunderstand the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you concerned? Hmm? No. As I've shared earlier, because of the attitude of some Christians towards some things, we are seen as non-spiritual. And this is causing the onlookers to doubt the genuine experience.
God. He's not confined to here at the call church. Amen. Hallelujah. That we dress up on the common here we feel the spirit of God and we're floating and all of that. Not confined to here. Hallelujah. We are not saved by words. But we are judged by them. Amen? Amen. We are judged by our works. Glory to God Almighty. So, we need to guard our spirit. Praise the Lord. Watch our spirit. Babel speaks out of carnality. Amen. This is a term that is easily misunderstood. And misused. To be carnal is not only to have a corrupt mind, as we would say, smutty mind, but rather to be carnal is to be guided by natural thinking rather than a spiritual one. Now you may say, box. That's natural. Somebody hurts you, so it's natural to fight, fight back. So you're a carnal. But when we are spiritually minded, remember that the Lord said we don't render evil for evil. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Almighty. We can walk away, we can forgive, we can pray for the person. That's what it is to be spiritually minded Amen. and not. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Will this is why I call it part two. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Natural thinking rather than a spiritual. Romans 8, 6 and 9 speaks to this. To be carnally minded is death. Amen. So in my thoughts and meditation, I was led to look again at the book of Malachi. Here I saw that the priests who should be setting the examples had failed. That's why you need to know God for yourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Your spiritual leader may fail, but God remains constant. Amen. Amen. Help me, Lord. Now, these priests, they were offering unto God the worst. Bible tells us they were offering the name. That which was torn and the sick animals as sacrifice and offering. Remember you know, the law stipulated that you need to search this animal carefully yeah. to make sure there are no blemishes. Right. Hallelujah. If one leg is shorter than one, hmm. don't give that to God. The lost an eye, neither. It must be Perfect. Yes, the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You see, saints, it just sitting my memory that his offerings were presenting the spotless Lamb of God. Amen. Bless God. Now we are finished. Thank you, Jesus. But the priest, to me, the people carried it, carried it on the priest and the careless. I didn't bring that. Hallelujah. We can't put up with everything as leaders. We have got to the spiritual gods to speak out. Yes. And there are times when we're about to speak against. Yes. Hallelujah. I thank you for this, please. Hmm? Take note of verse 8 of chapter 1. Prophet said, 
Same thing as you carry the matter to God. As I now to the governor. <laughs> Will you be pleased? Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. That's right. Verse 15. <coughs> Sorry, that was. The things God requires should never be seen as a burden. That's right. And you just go through the motion. Mm. Amen. Nobody can say meaning it. Examine your offering. Oh, yeah. Take time out to examine how you serve. Oh, yeah. you. See if it is of good value and standard. Amen. Praise the Lord. I ought to care. If I'm in a relationship with God, it has to be a good relationship. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They exhorted. You want to the Lord your best. He gave his best right. for all of us. As I shared once, he was the ultimate sacrifice. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Leaders, and there are many leaders. Sometimes it was pointing on feet like the pastor. There are many leaders sitting in the pews. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Lord. Leaders at whatever level or calling should be good examples. Amen. To kind of an example, you should not be a leader. Amen. Praise the Lord. They too are responsible. To give unto the Lord the best, whatever area. He wants to give Lord the best. I think that time and quality time should be set aside to pay attention to the things of God. The Lord. Bless the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord Jesus. Praise God. I can't wait until I come down here. Then is a the time I'm turning the Bible leaf. To find something to say. Mm. Can't you God like that? Huh? Mm. Weaknesses mm. in the system should never be overlooked. Leaders should never overlook weaknesses that are detected. Amen. But spiritual guidance for improvement should be given. That's right. If you cannot be in a place to get spiritual guidance, you are in the wrong place. Amen. 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 Leaders must give account to God for their stewardship. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. I have much more than this. I try to keep it short, fit it in time. But I thought about Joshua when he reached a point to cross Jordan. Holy. Hallelujah. It was not the military leaders who went first. Hallelujah. But it was the spiritual leaders. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And they made sure they carried the ark of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Presenting God's presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Remember the crossing? Mm -hmm. It was a time in Jordan. But the scripture said as soon as the Big. priest he touched uh -huh. the water, Amen. he got unto the Amen. The psalm said, but came and he got Jordan. Amen. And God said, it's back. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the answer was, it was a presence of the Lord. 
Spiritual is not 
Amen. 